Hey guys, it's your girl Lalo. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm making chicken dumplings with mango dipping. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy this cooking experience. First, you want to wash your chicken with some lemon juice. Next, you're going to put it on the chopper and you're going to dice it up, okay? Or mince it up. So after you have cut up your chicken, you are going to squeeze some more lime juice or lemon juice on this. You're going to give it one more wash before you put your powder seasoning on. Okay? And we're getting ready to cook this up. Now that you have washed your chicken, you're gonna go ahead and season with some complete seasoning, whatever brand that you have. So I'm using some badia. That's roughly about a teaspoon or two. Some garlic powder. And these seasoning does not have any sodium in them, except for the body, of course. Some onion powder. I'm gonna go ahead and put some meat and steak seasoning, and I think this has a little uh, sodium in there. Not too much, it's roughly uh, 60 milligram per teaspoon. 70 actually and some chili powder about a teaspoon now i'm going to add some meat and fish sauce and then i'm going to use my hand and i'm going to rub this in okay Want it to get all over this meat. I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit more by there because it might be a little bit fresh. That much. And I don't cook with too much salt. So if you love sodium, you can go ahead and add some more. But I don't try to put too much sodium in there. So I'm gonna let that sit for like five minutes and then I'm gonna come back and put it in my pot to cook. Now we're ready to cook our chicken. My stove is already on and I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some oil and this is vegetable oil I'm using. Here's my chicken that has been sitting for five minutes. And I'm gonna get it into my pot. I'm gonna turn my stove down on roughly seven or six because I don't want my chicken to burn. Okay, so that's roughly medium. I'm gonna cover up my chicken and let it cook. 
and I'll check back on it from time to time, okay? Now we're gonna check on our chicken. It's coming on nicely. It smells so good. So to this, I'm going to add some garlic, minced garlic. Okay. We had nice it up some more, okay? And the other day I came across this scotch bonnet pepper. It's pro it, it is a product of Jamaica and I'm going to use some of this Spicy Hill Farms scotch bonnet pepper flakes. It already has some chili pepper flakes in there. I'm adding some scotch bonnet pepper flakes. Okay, not too much. And I'm mixing this in. I'm gonna let it cook for another five minutes and it's done. And it's on to the next step. Okay guys, so my chicken is done. I'm turning off the stove. And now it's on to my next step. Okay. Okay guys, so the next step is you have, like I did show you before, my self rising flour. And to this, I'm not gonna add any salt because salt is already in there. So I'm just gonna make my dough. Okay, I'm gonna make this into a dough and come back. And to make your dough, you simply add your water to your flour and then you knead it in or you mix it in. So here is my dough. And my dough is ready. Perfect. Not too soft, not too sticky. Perfect dough. And over here I have two eggs beat up, okay? Now watch what I'm gonna do with my dough. here I have my chicken so what I'm going to do with my chicken is this stretch out your your dough patty my egg it up like that see how it is I don't have a cutter guys so I'm using my cup as you can see I'm using my cup I'm 
going to stretch that out a little bit. I'm going to put my chicken there. And the reason why I put my egg on there is to seal it, okay? You need the egg to hold it together. So that's the reason why I'm using the egg. guys I'm just gonna keep doing this until I'm done okay I'll be right back okay guys so now on to my next step here I have my frying pan and it's already heating up and I'm gonna go ahead and put in my stuffed dumpling and I have my stove down on medium because I don't want it to burn So guys, my next step is I have some mango already cut up and it's already in my cup and I'm going to blend this up as well as I'm going to blend my red onions, green scallion, some red peppers and green peppers, okay? And I will add my garlic later. So I'm going to blend up my mango real quick. seasoning my onions I'm gonna add my onions I'm gonna blend that real quick so 
so I've poured off some of my mango into my pot. Now I'm gonna add the rest of my seasoning in so I can blend up my veggies. And I'm gonna do this until I'm finished, okay? I'll be right back. So now guys, here I have my completed blended mango with red onions, red pepper, green pepper, green scallion, okay? And I have my stove on medium. And I'm gonna let this heat up for a bit. So I'm making my sauce or my dip for my chicken dumpling. So to this, I'm gonna add a spoon of garlic, minced garlic. Okay. A little more because I love garlic. Also guys, what I want to add to this is some onion powder. Just a teaspoon of onion powder. Also, I want to add a dash of Badia complete seasoning. Mix that in. I want to also add a piece of butter. I'm making up my mango sauce or my mango dip for my chicken dumpling. And this should be a nice treat. You can have it for lunch, for snack, or evening evening supper you don't want nothing too heavy this is this would be a perfect um, meal if you don't want to have anything too heavy so guys you let this stay on the stove for roughly five to ten minutes so that your seasoning can cook in with your mango to make that nice mango sauce. Mmm, it's very tasty. I like it. Here it is, my stuffed chicken dumplings with my mango dipping. Stuffed chicken dumplings. Okay, fried dumplings that is. Look at that. Stuffed chicken dumplings and you just go into your sauce like that you give it a bite mm. so good
Guys, it's so good. Stuffed chicken dumpling and mango sauce. See my chicken? Just come into it like that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Mmm. Guys, I'm telling you, you have to try. My mouth is full, sorry. <laughs> you have to try this recipe, okay? Mango sauce with stuffed chicken dumplings. It is so good. All you need right now is a glass of lemonade. Cool lemonade. It's over there. And I still have more chicken over here. So there you have it, guys. You heard it here first. Stuffed chicken dumplings served with mango sauce. Mm. It's your girl, Lala. Now, if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to your girl, Lala. Because you want to see what's going to come next. Okay? Mmm. That is so good, guys. So good. Mmm. 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 Look at that. Mm. Mm -mm. so guys i want to thank you for returning to my channel and watching this awesome video now if you're new to my channel and have not already subscribed go ahead and subscribe to my channel because if you're now watch your girl lala way i do okay now if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up drop me a comment down below and thank you so much again god bless you and i love you guys and i see you on my next video okay it's your girl lala saying bye from the kitchen until next time bye